Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. Hello you guys, we have made it to Paros. We started in Santorini, took the ferry over here, and we got here maybe like 10 minutes ago. We are in the cutest little hotel. It's like a family owned hotel. It is so adorable. I will link our travel itinerary from Eve Ultimate Break in the description, or I will post it on Instagram as well if you if it doesn't show the exact hotels, if you guys are interested in the places that we're staying. This one's a little bit smaller, but it's so cute. Brock is very tired, so he is there. But this is our room. It's so cutie. I did scrape my knee on this bed post, and look what it did to my leggings. Like, that's not even a stain. I think it, like, ripped them or something, but this is so cute. Cute. And then we have like a little fridge, a little armoire. The bathroom is tiny, but it's adorable. Like this is the cutest thing. This is like the first like real shower I've seen on this trip. I don't know how much room it'll be in there, but it's very cute. And then we have like a little outdoor area I'll show you. <laughs> little cutie like just seat and everything. Oh my God, the view. I haven't even noticed the view. That's really, really, really cute. And then you can kind of see like, it's like a white building. It has like blue shutters. It's so adorable. Loving it. The water is also so blue. So there's not like a beach beach. It's kind of just like rocks that line up to water, but there's some like tanning beds. The water is so blue. It's insane. Everyone has been hyping up this island. When we were in Athens, I was talking to like one of the locals there like at the shops and she was like saying like, this is what everyone says. So like, it's not just her. Everyone, like I feel like we know this, but she was saying like all these islands that I've never heard of, but that's the ones apparently that like you're supposed to go to, which we all know. But I was saying like, oh, we're going to this one. And she's like, that one's the best. This is where like all the locals go to vacation. So I'm really, really excited. Brock's really tired. So we might like wait down for a minute. And then we're thinking of putting our swimsuits on, getting some food to go and then eating it by the water. I'm honestly getting pretty hungry. So I hope we do that soon, but that's our little update for it right now. Okay, so we're about to get food. We're probably gonna get Euros again because I'm obsessed, my new favorite food. But I'm wearing the swimsuit from 437. I wore it earlier when we were in Italy, but I really love it. I just got it and it's really nice for like tan lines. But we're about to go get some food, go swimming. I'm really, really excited. This bathroom is adorable. I can't get over it. got back. Brock laid in bed because he was not feeling very well. I think the food from last night that we went at like the beautiful restaurant, I wouldn't recommend that restaurant. Food doesn't make you feel very well. But I went to the pool while Brock was laying down, just giving him time to sleep alone. Do you feel better? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I like kind of put my feet in the water at the ocean. It was, or sea. Well, I keep calling it an ocean. My camera battery died. We're back now. So I went to the pool, we played volleyball in the pool, me and a couple of girls, and then we just like laid out. The UV rays were not very high, so like I don't think we got a tan, but also I do feel tanner than I was when I got here, so that's a bonus. But we're about to go like explore the city every single night when we get here. We kind of have some free time after we get to the location, and then at night our tour director will like take us around the city, show us a couple places, find a really nice place to get dinner and everything like that. So that is what we are doing tonight. This is what I'm wearing. I wanted to wear this outfit earlier in the trip because I love it, but it was too hot to wear it. Guess where my top is from and guess where my bottom is from. Brock will be answering the question. It's quiz time. It's from Amber Combi. No, it's not Amber Combi. What is it? Amber Combi. Oh, Amber Combi. He calls it Amber Combi every time. It's the same thing. It's Amber Combi. Amber Combi. Yeah, but you forgot Fitch. Fitch is unimportant. Fitch. I love Fitch. <laughs> Who's Fitch, Brock? <laughs> but I really like these. They're like white linen pants and they have like a little slit so it's nice for some airflow. Really cutie outfit if you ask me. They are so cute. Thank you. Katie looks absolutely gorgeous tonight. Thank you. But yeah, I did want to wear this outfit earlier. You look so pretty. Thank you. Now you have lip gloss on. Yay. But we have to leave in 20 minutes. Are you capable of getting ready in 20 minutes? Hopefully. And we will see. I'm going to bring my vlog camera tonight because I felt bad not bringing it to the past couple of things. So she's coming with me.
right now we're in the main central square it's really beautiful the sun is at like the most beautiful we should really take photos right now before the sun gets down too far this is stunning it's so pretty there's like a little cute vespa right there and then like there's all these little shops around the water there's these boats all the sunset it's really beautiful whenever i think of greece i think of like little alleyways like this with like paved roads like this there's also a little cat right here meow oh it's asleep i really hope it's alive it hasn't moved oh there's another one there's another one it's blurry no kitty oh goodbye kitty we're just like walking around there's like little boutiques beautiful hi oh it literally just like rolled over okay it was meowing like crazy and then it stopped this is embarrassing oh <laughs> you're so cute there's so many little kitties it is so pretty over here you're so cute meow so i'm not gonna do it for the camera can i get a photo maybe here i'm currently at dinner brock is in the bathroom he just does not feel well whatever we ate yesterday whatever he ate yesterday just was absolutely horrible for his stomach he's like been feeling sick all day and i was like you don't have to come like we can stay in the hotel room and he's like no i want to go we're currently at this restaurant neither of us are super hungry so we just got the drink menu they have a ton of really yummy looking drinks i tried an aperol spritz in italy and i thought it was trash it was disgusting so i might get a mojito <laughs> a strawberry mojito i've also really been liking raspberry so i'm in between both but i think the strawberry is probably a safer bet this is the view from the restaurant like just stunning we're like on the water there's the sunset it's beautiful the weather is stunning here i literally love this island like i feel like greece has exceeded my expectations i just made eye contact with the waiter so i just ordered my mojito brock was gonna get a drink but he's just like my stomach hurts so bad that i'm not gonna get one and i don't blame him i feel really awkward vlogging here i'm literally sitting at a table alone with my camera tripod just i'm gonna take a photo of this document that i'm doing this our tour director had us go to like this little bakery shop and we tried they were like little like fried balls of dough and then one had like honey and like cinnamon on it and then the other one had like a chocolate fondue they were literally incredible that i want to get them again like i said we're not super hungry for dinner because we had a bigger lunch so i feel like i might go back there for dessert brock was like this is gonna mess up my stomach if i eat any more of this i feel so bad i keep saying like we can go back to the hotel room i'm not being a bad person i swear but i feel like he also wants to experience these things and like enjoy them as much as he can but i was talking about the cats the cats are so friendly here you guys like i thought that like these cats would be mean because i feel like a lot of like house cats in america are either super cuddly or they like hide under your couch and like hiss at you i had a cat growing up and like it would hide under my parents bed and it was like nice to me but like it would hide from everyone else but the cats here are so friendly they like will rub up against you which is like a sign that they like you they'll like meow at you they like try to get you to pet them like they're so cute and our tour guide was saying it's because they're spoiled here and like everyone feeds them which i see that also a really cute class but there's a lot of really cute shops here and i definitely want to go shopping hopefully brock is up for it if not we won't that's why we're like sitting down kind of chilling i really love it here like i want to come back here 100 i wish we had more time in greece if we did i literally am like texting my friends and i'm like let's save up some money plan a trip okay I'm making eye contact with people making me uncomfortable so i'm gonna put this away my mojito came she's beautiful look who's back cutie boy ladies and gentlemen a taste test also everything here is paper they don't do plastic which i appreciate that was embarrassing. I feel like this could easily spill on my pants, don't you think? Mm. Mm. You don't like it? Oh, the sip that you just got, or the one that I just got, that's like a lot of alcohol. The first sip didn't. She's beautiful. She's you like, very pretty. Like me? Mm -hmm. Just kidding. You are very pretty. Are you gonna get a drink? I don't He's know. considering it now. Considering. You just asked the guy, he's like, what do you think about this drink? And the guy was like, don't recommend it. Sad face emoji. This place also, really random, this hand sanitizer that they gave us, smells amazing. Yeah. Smell my hands. Yeah, That's right? So yeah, really good. There's something crunchy at the bottom. A change of plans. We got the dinner menu. It didn't look that great. So we walked over kind of to like one of the shops like inside the little like hallway wall things. You wouldn't be able to tell that it's pretty dark outside. Like it's nighttime. We're at this little table, this little restaurant. We both got euros. We continuously keep getting pork euros. How are you doing? We might get dessert, like more of like little fried ball things that I was talking about earlier that our tour guide got us after. But yeah, hopefully this will be a lot faster food. There's a lot of kids here. 
We just got back to the hotel. Everyone has issues with their locks here. Every hotel that we've been in, they have like actual keys. They don't have like room keys. And the locks are always so hard to open. But we are back. Tomorrow we are going on a boat tour. Or not a boat tour, but like a boat. We're really excited for that. Hopefully Brock will feel better enough for that. Everyone went shopping. There was a ton of really cute shops. And I wish we had more time to go shopping. But Brock was in the bathroom half the time we were there. I also got another little house. Apparently I do collect these. Do you collect the houses? I do collect the houses. I will show you guys all the little souvenirs that I got when I get back, but because they're in this, I don't want them to break. The lady that sold them to us didn't speak any English, so I was trying to like ask her, because everywhere I go, I tried to ask them like, oh, like who made this? She didn't know what I was asking. Does which, it say the island name on it? Well, it says the island name, but like I wanted to know who made it because I got one in Santorini that was made in Athens. Mm -hmm. I got another one in Santorini that was made in Santorini. So I have one from every island that was made in every island. Hopefully, we're just gonna say this one was made here, but they're really cute. I wonder if people can hear me talk. In the room because the rooms are, the walls are like very thin. We're gonna get ready to go to bed. I have a disposable camera that I brought that I completely forgot to bring to every single place. So I'm gonna take it out right now and I'm like, let's just like use the whole thing on the boat. But I'm sure that like the TSA is gonna ruin the photos, which is fine. But I'm gonna say goodbye for tonight. We had a really great day, other than Brock literally having food poisoning. You feeling better? Uh huh. Yeah, feeling better. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Good morning, guys. We're in Paros today. We're gonna go to a little boat and like lay out, swim, have a little barbecue. I'm very excited. As you can tell, I got a little sunburnt. You should see my chest. It's pretty sunburnt. But we are on a boat. We kind of like went to three different stops and like we were able to jump in off the boat, swim in the water. The water was pretty cold, but it was still fun. Obviously the sun was pretty bright out. The last one we did like a water slide and I went head first and you were just like diving, but I like skidded across the water and like my entire like swimsuit top and like bottoms almost came off. Pretty much they did come off. So that's really fun. No one noticed, which is good. And then we got back here. We showered and everything and then we got dinner. I got this like stuffed calamari and I thought it was like fried calamari. No, it was like the fish. It wasn't the best. Probably my least favorite meal that we've had in this whole trip, but that's okay. And then we just have been hanging out. I'm packing up my suitcase right now, getting ready for the day. Tomorrow we fly back to Athens and then from Athens we leave the next day. We have to do our COVID test and everything. Just flying back to America, that's what you have to do. But we had a really great day. Obviously I didn't vlog too much because we were on the water. Didn't want to get my camera or my phone wet. And everyone was like in swimsuits around us and I'm not gonna post people on the internet their swimsuits so. We are taking a ferry to Athens tomorrow and then we have our COVID test. We don't really have that much time in Athens. We have a farewell dinner. We have like a welcome dinner and a farewell dinner. This is like our goodbye dinner where we're gonna say goodbye to everyone. Our tour guide, when we went wine tasting in Santorini, she got a couple of bottles of wine and we all drank that on the beach together and kind of like said goodbye even though we have our farewell dinner tomorrow. It was really fun. So yeah, that's kind of it. There's not really much that happened today. So sorry for kind of like a lame update and not much of a vlogging day, but we just kind of like were laying on the boat all day. And it was really fun. It was really nice to have that be like our last day because it was very relaxing after a very long trip. So I'm glad that we were able to relax and have a good night. So I will see you guys tomorrow. This is pretty much the last like full fun day of the trip, but I'll still bring you guys along for tomorrow. Hello. Remember how I said, whatever happens tomorrow, I'll vlog it? I guess I lied. I didn't vlog it. So let's just do a little recap of what happened. Basically, if you remember, I kept talking about how Brock felt really sick. Whatever he had, he gave to me. And now I am glued to the toilet at all times of the day. Fantastic. I don't know if this is TMI, but we're really just gonna go and we've spent the whole two weeks together, you and me and Brock. So now we're bonded like this. I don't know. So I didn't really vlog yesterday. I got a few montage footages, which I will put in when I talk about it. So we started off the day by waking up. We checked out of our little hotel and then we took a fair to Athens. So we've already been in Athens, but we're flying out of Athens. That's where like the big airport is. So we took a ferry to Athens. It was a really nice ferry. Like there were escalators. There was like every ferry that we've been on has had like little like cafe kind of like places you can get muffins. This one had like a ton of cafes. They even had like seating areas where you can like sit down and eat your food. Like this was like a nice, nice ferry. It was pretty big. I sat next to this Greek man who was snoring, but it's all good. Like it was fine. And then that was a pretty long ferry ride. Like I never realized how long ferry rides actually are oh my gosh i'm kind of running out of time I, we need to leave soon for the airport so i'm like 
Maybe I should talk a little faster. So then we got to Athens and it was pretty late at this point. Like I think it was like 3 or 4 p.m. We had our COVID test. They messed up our COVID test. Every single person's birthday was wrong. Every single person's information was wrong. And it's not ES fault. It's like the COVID testing place. They like just did not do a great job. And then I was starving. So I got a euro. And because my stomach was really hurting, eating that like really, really hurt my stomach. So we came back to the hotel room and chilled for a little bit. And then we walked down to the town square. It kind of reminded me of like a shopping center like in Arizona. But there was a ton of little shops. I wanted to get another t-shirt. I've worn this one a few times and I wanted to get a shirt that I could wear on the plane because something that I just didn't pack enough of was like travel clothes simply because I thought I could rewear them. But like I've sweat so much on this trip that like it's unsanitary to keep wearing these same clothes. But here we are wearing them. This was actually a very soft shirt. I got the first day we were in Athens and I didn't get a shirt, but it's fine. I wanted to get one. I got this little ring, cutie little ring. Brock got like a little necklace for his mom. It has like two little eyeballs. So I still have like 20 euros left. So I'm like, do I go shopping in the airport? But yeah, so we did that. We walked around. I was gonna get some vlog footage, but I was just like not feeling well at that point. And then we went to a rooftop restaurant for dinner with our group. It was our farewell dinner. It was like a beautiful view. You could see the Acropolis. Like it was just stunning. We had like this like five course meal. And like I wasn't feeling so great at this point. I'm really glad that like I got sick like the last day and not like halfway through the trip, beginning of the trip. Like last time I went to Europe, I was on my deathbed from like a third into the trip onward. So I'm glad that like if I'm not feeling well, at least it's today yesterday we had a little farewell to our dinner apparently our tour guide did not know that i made youtube videos i thought she did apparently she didn't it's all good she found out apparently a lot of people knew on this trip the whole time like from early on in the trip that i did youtube and like they just pretended like they didn't know which is like honestly i appreciated that because it's truly not a big deal and i love when people don't make it a big deal we like said farewell honestly we were like hugging everyone it was like really sappy and emotional but i was like i gotta go because i'm gonna poop myself if i if i stay any longer so we kind of like yeeted out of there a little bit earlier than i wish we could have but again, I was not feeling well. So we came back here. We slept. Our tour guide, she gives us like a gift at every single stop. And she made these custom bracelets for the girl. She gave the guys different ones. But she like customized them with like the little eye to like protect you from evil. This little tassel. Like she made these. She like told the guy like this is what I want. And so we all have matching bracelets. And the guys all have like kind of thicker, more manly bracelets. Also, I don't know if you can tell. I have bug bites all over my face. These are not breakouts. These are bug bites. They're all over my back, all over my legs from the hotel we were in. Paros. There were so many bugs. Not to blame Brock, but I'm gonna blame Brock. I told him to close the door and he's like, it's fine. No bugs will come in. So many bugs came in. So now I'm just like itching and I'm like, is that why I'm sick? But I don't think that is. But we are at our hotel in Athens. It is almost 9 a.m. and at 9.15 we are getting on the bus to go to the airport to go home. I'll show you guys our hotel room. This is really, really nice. This is probably the nicest hotel we've stayed in. It's very new. If you guys know who John Krasinski is, he was like in the office. He was Jim from the office. He stayed at this hotel last year because they were filming a movie here. But last hotel room tour. This is the door. Love the little closet. And then, okay, Brock showered. Water everywhere, sir. He said this is like the nicest shower he's ever been in. Oh my God, you're kidding me. There's a rainfall shower head. I was gonna take a shower, but I was like, I don't want to. Ah, now I'm mad I didn't. I will say my one flaw, this toilet, my knee kept hitting this thing. So I moved the toilet paper, but like it kept hitting that. But really nice bathroom, like stunning. This is a great hotel. Again, I'll try to link down below our itinerary to show you guys like all places we're going. I was just in my bed air dropping my videos to me so I can edit them on the plane. Um, This is that. This is our view. Someone's view is just like of a straight wall. So that's probably like their view. But, like we have this, which is kind of cool. This is royal. And then we have this. So yeah, that is the end of this trip. I'm so sad. I hope you guys have liked watching these vlogs. I'm very curious to see like what footage I even got, but I hope that you guys like them. Let me know if you want me to do more travel vlogs. If not, that's okay. We're gonna go back to our regular productivity content. I'm gonna be moving out of my apartment really soon and moving into a new one, decorating that. So lots of exciting things happening. So I hope that you guys have liked these past vlogs of traveling to Italy and Greece. I've loved being here and this has literally given me such a bug for wanting to travel and explore the world more. I just feel like this has been like one of the best two weeks of my life. So I love you guys. I hope you loved these and I'll see you in America. Mwah.